Good evening. Um, so this lecture will cover diminished chords and how we can use them to modulate. And so well, we spell a diminished chord as covered in the previous videos. Um, we're going to basically stack a chord, four notes, a seven chord. So in the key of C major, our seven diminished chord is going to be spelled B, D, F, and then A. B, D, F, A. Now this is a diminished chord, B, D, F, and to make it a fully diminished chord, we're going to have to flat this A flat on the top, okay? Um, otherwise it would be a half diminished, and you would like put a cross through this, but this is a fully diminished chord. And we're dealing with fully diminished chords because they are able to invert and it is cyclical, so when you invert it four times, it will return to its original state, or its original key center, per se. And so to use a diminished chord to uh, modulate into a key, we have to understand that each of these chord members can move by half step up to a new key center. So each, uh, and to restate that um, in different words, each of these chord members are leading tones. Because they are leading tones, you can move upwards by half step to reach a new key center. So how can we do that in the key of C? Well, B is the leading tone to C. And because of this, we can mutate this B diminished chord to become the dominant of C. We can mutate it by lowering this top note down to G. G, F, B, uh, and F. Yeah, yeah, G, F, uh, D, and uh, B. This spells a G7 chord. I don't know if that's uh, clear. Not necessarily, because um, it's, um, it's in a different inversion, right? Uh, so B, D, F, G would be a, a 5, 2, 4 chord. Um, and so that um, goes to, well, the cadences to C major. So I don't know if that's clear in the screen, but basically we have taken this A flat, we have mutated it to become a G, and now with this uh, dominant seven chord, we are able to go to a new key center. And so this is possible with other keys too. In fact, four other keys with this one chord. So this chord has a possibility of going to four different key areas. Um, that's only major. Note that we can also go to minor. Um, and so if we inspect all of the chord uh, tones, in this we get B, right? We have D, and we have F, and we have A flat. And so the question to ask is, what, uh, what's the leading tone? What is it leading tone to, right? And then we can figure out, you know, how do we get there? So let's make a little chart here. We have all of these chord tones. And so now the next question to ask is, so again, we're, we're starting with C. And C, the seven chord, the seven, diminished seven chord is going to be spelled B, D, F, A flat. Now, B is a leading tone to C. D is a leading tone to E flat. F is a leading tone to G flat. And A flat is a leading tone to A. So these are new keys that we're going to basically modulate to. And so for the mutation part, so, so these are our destinations. Okay, so these are destinations. Now, how do we get to those destinations? Well, as we just uh, previously showed up here, we're going to need a 5-7 chord to mutate to. So we're going to change one of these terms, one of these particles, and we're going to turn them into a 5-7 chord. And so, working backwards, I guess, we can see that we can mutate to E7, we can mutate to, in this case, D flat 7 and then we can mutate from this one, this would be B flat 7, and then this one would be G7. 
So when we're writing a chord progression, what we would do is we would take an inversion of this, and then we're going to mutate it into one of these dominant chords, and then we can finally get to our new destination. So that's how this modulation is going to work. We're going to start with a key, and this is our X. Okay? And then these are our Y destinations. And then this is like the mechanism. Like, I don't know, I want to draw a gear or something. Like, that's a bad gear. Um, how about, like, an explosion? Yeah, yeah, this is our chain reaction. Um, so we need to use C, go to this dominant, well, this, um, sorry, this um, diminished chord. We're going to mutate it to become the dominant so that we can get these new key centers. Hopefully this helps.